Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Five years ago, a gentleman named Tim Wells actually killed a black bear with a blowgun. And I want to see if that is possible or if it's just a myth. The blowgun myth busting episode. Let me show you its features. So actually Tim Wells shot the black bear from out of hiding behind a tree trunk. And uh, this is just very short. He says it's about 10 yards. It could be a little less, but a very close distance. He was using the exact same uh, broadhead uh, blowgun dart and actually he sharpened it and I did the same so that is really razor sharp and he also loosened the end cap like the funnel here and I did the same here so that there is a chance that this like continues to fly into the flesh of the bear and this pops out. So I'm not sure if that's going to happen today, but I've done the same thing. What happened in this video is that actually the end cap flew off and this continued and it was a hard shot and the bear died quickly afterwards. So of course it's only possible with a hard shot, I guess. Now to be absolutely clear, if I'm not going to be successful today, that does not mean that Tim Wells's video was fake. Because first of all, I'm not an experienced blowgun shooter. He can probably shoot a lot harder than I can because I haven't practiced this and I'm a fairly old guy at 58 years. Second, um, I'm using a different blowgun. I'm using my blowgun, which is a repeating blowgun. And it's actually a lot shorter, it's like 40 centimeters shorter than the cold steel uh, blowgun that he was using and a longer barrel certainly means more power. In other words, if I'm going to be successful today, it means that yes, it's absolutely possible, it's absolutely plausible. If I'm not successful, then that does not mean that Tim Wells faked the video. I actually think it's real. So this is the difference. This is the cold steel and this is mine and as you see the cold steel is a lot longer. But also mine has a six shot magazine and a pump action function and also it has a built-in laser for the sighting. And this is my simulated bear. As you see, it's a block of ballistic gelatin. <laughs> and I mold it in a, like a double balloon. So it's one balloon into another one, filled with water. Uh, the water isn't under pressure though, it's just filled with water. And it it's also has like a thick patch of leather. It's actually furniture grade leather. Um, and it's actually overlapping here. So we got two layers of it protecting the block, just like bear skin would. And this little patch is because my blowgun has been adjusted for a longer distance and therefore I have to hold under a little bit. So this is where the laser needs to point if I want to hit it here about. And I'm going to fire a few blowgun darts into it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, let's go for it. Oops, Robin Hood. Another Robin Hood. Let's look at the damage. So as we can see, the balloon is deflated, clearly, and I think multiple of the darts deflated it. You can actually see the water sloshing around in here. <laughs> and you can see from the top how deep some of these penetrated. But of course it's not as deep as uh, the, the one that Tim Wells shot because they completely disappeared. Now in comparison we'll do some shots with the uh, cold steel blowgun, see if we get any better penetration with this one here. Looks like the penetration is better.
Yes, very clearly the cold steel balls penetrate a lot deeper. And one here, very interesting, you saw that the, uh, that the cone popped off. So it's really possible, it just happened. See how far they penetrated. So mine have been a little bit too weak, but these absolutely realistically went in. Now if you imagine that Tim Wells is much more experienced in shooting blowguns, I'm super sure that this would have worked. I just want to show you guys how tough it is to get to one of these and actually this is like double layer so you can see it's very very tough stuff so if I poke it through there's really a lot of resistance so yeah even though those are sharpened uh, it's not easy to overcome and it's probably because it's cured leather it's probably harder to penetrate than real bear skin but that's just a guess okay you want some proof that this is really happening that this pierced it yeah, there you go. <laughs> so I guess I just have to get a longer tube. <laughs> if it brings more power, then I probably have to get one that's like three meters long. <laughs> well, no, just kidding. Um, so, uh, absolutely confirmed. It is, I can absolutely confirm that you can kill a large animal if you hit the right spot, means the heart, with a blowgun dart. Of course, there's still a lot of things that can go wrong. I mean, there's ribs. I don't think that the blowgun dart can go through a rib. So it was probably also a little bit of a lucky shot. So therefore, I still don't think it's exactly right to shoot these poor animals with blowgun darts. I think they could actually, if you don't hit them right, there will be a lot of suffering and that is not right. In any case, confirmed. I can confirm. Tim Wells is absolutely right. It is possible. And also, I can confirm that shooting a pump gun, uh, repeating blowgun, <laughs> is a lot of fun too. I hope you like this because that's it for today. Thanks and... Bye bye. Oops, I'm getting a little bit out of breath, I guess. Oh. Ha! <laughs>